How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And let's talk about special elements that you have at your disposal in Svelte 5. And the first one is Svelte Boundary. This was just dropped a few days ago, so it's really, really recent. And I just took a look, and it is super useful. So essentially what happens is it allows you to set up boundaries where if you have an error, right, you can kind of wrap this around a component. And if you have an error, it's, you know, you can kind of just handle that accordingly in your UI and it's not going to break the entire application, which is awesome. So if we go ahead and take a look at an example here, um, and this is just the example right out of the box, um, the one that they recommend, we have this like flaky component. And when we press this button, we are going to reassign variable mouse to null. That's going to completely break everything. But if you take a look at this felt boundary that we have right here, as well as closing it off right here on line 11, uh, we're going to get some UI that's reflected and we're using snippets, which is really cool. So if you haven't used snippets before, definitely dive into that because that is going to be a major power tool for you uh, in your toolkit in Svelte 5. So let's take a look at this. We're going to reassign that variable to null and we get a UI change instead of, you know, an error. So let's try that again. Um, let me just go ahead and comment this out. Okay, here we go. Now I'm going to click this. And take a look. Now we get an error. So that's not really what we want to see, obviously. So take a look at Svelte Boundary. I think you're going to love it. Now let's uh, keep going down here. And so window, document, and body, they're all really the same. And this is cool. Um, man, I've been sleeping on this personally for a while now. And I'm, I'm just kind of like remembering situations where I could have used this if I would have just kind of uh, known about the syntax a bit earlier. So uh, really, really interesting stuff here. And essentially what this allows us to do is add event listeners to window, document, and body without worrying about the cleanup. So should take a look at this. The Svelte window element allows you to add event listeners to the window object without worrying about removing them when the object is destroyed or checking for the existence of window, also awesome, when server-side rendering. So this is just going to allow us to not necessarily or, you know, do something like this instead of you know, working with the window directly, we just have kind of a first class way of doing it in Svelte, which is really cool. And so same thing with document, it just allows us to work with the document itself without having to kind of work or worry about the cleanup. And same with the body. So those are kind of like all grouped together, but super, super useful. Now, Svelte head is pretty useful, honestly. And this is when you want to kind of like inject like a title tag, maybe for a particular route, or maybe you want to bring in like a CDN. Well, this is how you would do it. And this is only going to affect that component. So, you know, a great example of this is, you know, if you're bringing in a CDN and you don't necessarily want to put that in the app.html file or, you know, somewhere, you know, in the layouts, you kind of really just like really just want this scope to an individual component or, you know, really just any Svelte component, as I should say, um, this is something that you can use, which is really, really nice. Okay. Now, Svelte colon element, this is going to be when you want to create an HTML element on the fly. So, this is like the example that they're giving. And this is kind of just a fancy or a really, really lightweight of handling this, right? Uh, that document create element. And, you know, we're passing in some type of like tag name. And so this is going to allow us to do that with ease. So that's really, really cool. Now, the last one, Svelte options. There's, a, you know, several things you could do here, but I think the real main thing we need to focus on is this first part. Okay, these two little bullet points. And so when you pass in um, you know, a Boolean to the runes attribute or prop, 
um, that is going to be able to, you know, force a legacy mode or force runes mode, which is, you know, Svelte 5. So if you have like a component that you want to be using that older syntax, you can do that through Svelte options and do that accordingly, like runes equals false. So these are really, really handy because it does a lot of work for us and it just really makes our code a lot more maintainable and just at the end of the day, less stuff that we have to worry about. So I hope you found this helpful. If you did, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.